So just a brief introduction about this video. Um, this is taken to show my typical working day. So like a school week day. Um, I'm going to put up on the screen the days that I have as my school work days because it's not it's not exactly normal. Um, also, these clips weren't all filmed on the same day. I just kind of put them together and a lot of them is me acting out <laughs> what I do usually so that it doesn't distract um, my normal routine. So this is what I do um, for each of the days of the week. Um, just bear this in mind whilst watching, but I'm just going to get on with the video. This is me pretending to wake up in the morning because my first thought when I wake up isn't usually to film myself. Um, I'd be way too tired for that. After I get up, I eat and I make sure that I've got dressed into some clothes that will be comfortable for the day. Here is a super weird looking video of me doing my makeup. I like to keep as much to my normal routine as possible because I feel it makes me ready for the day and puts me in the right mindset, which is why I keep doing makeup because it's a more of a normality thing for me. Already, I don't spend too much time getting ready in the mornings just so that I can get started with work quickly. I then get ready to do my work and I make sure my workspace is as tidy as it can be and that I always have a drink of water with me. I quickly check all my emails to make sure no teachers have messaged me first thing but here I've been logged out and it's asking me loads of questions. <laughs> I start my week off with the subject that usually has the biggest workload or the subject that um, I want to take further, so in my case that's psychology, so I like to get all my psychology work done by Monday. This is obviously me pretending to do work because I wouldn't actually record myself doing work, that would be far too distracting, but I do work until about one o'clock and then I go and get my lunch. Don't worry, I do eat more than this, I just couldn't be bothered to record it all. Um, I've been eating a lot of Ben and Jerry's recently. When all my work is done or as a break, I always make sure to go out for a walk or to meet up with someone socially distanced. If I haven't met up with my boyfriend that day, I will phone him at 3 o'clock and then FaceTime my grandparents at 4 o'clock just so I can catch up with them. Sometimes afterwards I'll do a bit more work, but that's only if I have a big workload that week. From this point onwards, which is probably around half four, I just chill out and do whatever I want. This could be reading a book, doing some artwork, or just watching Netflix and of course eating sweets. In the early evening, around eight, I'll get in my pyjamas. I've just showered, which is the reason why I'm in them now. I then also remove my makeup so I can have a nice chilled evening in PJs. At about 9, I'll check any group chats I'm in and make sure to catch up with all messages that I may have missed from friends. And I also do my thankfulness journal if I'm not too tired. At 10 o'clock, I go downstairs to see my family and just talk and chill with them before bed. And then I'll go upstairs at around half past 10. I get ready for bed at this time, but I usually procrastinate quite a lot so I don't really get into bed until around 11. And then I just talk to people until half 11 and that's roughly when I go to bed. So that's just roughly what I would do on a day where I'm doing schoolwork and that's just how I balance my day. It's really important that you do get a balance of schoolwork and fun just that you don't stress yourself out. I found that this schedule works really well for me but obviously it might not for you, you might want to be doing something completely different, just always make sure that there is some balance in your routine every single day. But if you have found this video helpful in any way whatsoever please leave a like and subscribe for some more tips on managing anxiety.